State Auditor wants to know why taxpayer dollars are being used to pay for private lawyers in the governor's office. The lawyers say they were hired to assist with the special session and possible impeachment of Governor Eric Greitens. They are being paid more than $600 an hour. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dow spoke with the attorneys and the state auditor. He has an update from Jeff City. The state auditor says taxpayers should be knowledgeable about if the governor's office is paying private attorneys with tax dollars. Today I spoke with that legal team about how they hope to navigate and negotiate how the special session and possible impeachment process will work. And if taxpayers are going to be foot in the bill for the governor's legal expenses in regards to this, these impeachment proceedings, taxpayers and Missourians deserve to know. State Auditor Nicole Galloway wants answers by Friday as to why private attorneys were hired and whether they are representing the governor's office or the governor himself. I thought we were going to be talking about standards and processes. I honestly don't know. We are, but, yeah. but I also, the committee wants to understand the basis of your representation and the contract that's using taxpayer funds. Wednesday morning, members of the Special Investigative Committee had the same question. Kansas City Attorney Edward Grime and well-known impeachment attorney Ross Garber represent the office of the governor. They were hired to navigate the special session process. It is time now to consider rules for the next stage we're going into. We are where we are. Uh, let's get it done in the next two days. Ross Garber has worked with multiple governors who faced possible impeachment. Most recently, Mark Sanford in South Carolina when his affair became public. Garber says they want an open and fair process, including witnesses to be questioned by both sides. If it is going to potentially affect an election, uh, the public should see what happened. They should hear from the witnesses. They should hear directly from the witnesses. They should be able to, the public should be uh, able to evaluate the credibility of witnesses. The special session is scheduled to start Friday at 6.30. Reporting in Jefferson City, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News. This is a developing story and we will keep you updated on new developments as they unfold. We have multiple crews across the state digging for more information. Look for reports from Stephen Dial and Tom Dempsey throughout the night. You can follow along on our website, KSHB.com and by downloading our free 41 Action News app as well.